Today, uh, a little bit about the Houston game. It's obviously kind of the tale of two halves. Uh, you know, first half we went out and I thought played a pretty good football game, or pretty good half, excuse me. And uh, but obviously come back out the second half and, and we really didn't uh, do anything positive on, on either side of the football. And I think it was a combination of two things. I think we finally woke Houston up, uh, but also we. Had a little adversity there, you know, we're starting the second half. And, and from that point on, I felt like we were kind of downhill uh, on both sides of the ball. And, uh, you know, that's what I've talked to the players about, you know, uh, Friday and yesterday in meetings. Uh, you know, we, you know even, even though we came out the second half and it didn't get started off like we wanted, we're still up 20 to 10. You know, got a lot of football to play and, you know, still a lot of opportunities. But... Like I said, it was uh, it was downhill from there, and you know what I, we got to learn how to deal with adversity. Uh, you know, that's what I talked to them about yesterday and Friday. Uh, it's you know no different than life that you're going to have adversity your whole life, and whatever it is you do, and how you deal with adversity and how you overcome adversity is going to determine how successful you're going to be. And it's the same way with this football team. I mean, we're going to have adversity Saturday against Marshall, so uh, you know, we got to learn how to deal with adversity and. When things aren't going good, we got to keep fighting and keep scrapping to, to do things to win football games. But uh, obviously a very disappointing loss to Houston, uh, especially the way the game got started in the first half and had opportunities and, and didn't capitalize. And then, again, the second half, we just kind of disintegrated and, and, and didn't, didn't play very well at all. Uh, we're playing a, a much improved Marshall football team. Uh, you know, it's Coach Snyder's fifth year, I believe, up there, fourth year. Um, I think he's done a good job of building that program back to where it, getting to where they want to be. Um, our two new offensive, or excuse me, our new offensive coordinator and new defensive co coordinator, so they are a little different scheme-wise from what they was last year. But I do think they're much improved. I think offensively, you know, their running back is one of the top three or four guys in this league. He's a sophomore, true sophomore. His name is Marshall, number five. That's from Milledgeville, Georgia. Uh, he's a very physical, hard running running back, and I think that's where they start offensively. Defensively, they hired a new coordinator, Rick Minter, who was the head coach at Cincinnati for a lot of years, and most recently at Notre Dame. Uh, he's he's come in and installed a more pressure uh, than what they brought last year. They bring different types of pressures and give you a bunch of different looks that we're going to have to be ready for to, to, to make sure we execute what we need to do offensively. But, uh, again, I think they are a much improved football team, a team that uh, will be very challenging for us. I think it's a very important football game for us. It's uh, not only our next football game, but obviously it's homecoming. And I think it would be huge for us to be able to win this football game. Um, you know, that's certainly what, certainly what we expect to do. That's what we're going to prepare to do all week. And uh, we'll, we'll work hard to get that done. Well, again, like I said, I think it's two two things. I think uh, they, we woke Houston up a little bit, and the adversity. Now, why why we don't work through adversity, I, I can't tell you that. Uh, that's something we're talking about. And, and the only thing I, you know, what I told the team yesterday is, you know, we got to we got to develop an attitude that we're not going to take no for an answer. I think we got too many guys giving in, and a little adversity pops up, and and you know it's okay. Here it goes, but. You know, even when you win a ball game, you're going to have adversity. So, so there's going to be adversity in everything you do. So, we, you know, but we got to learn how to work through it, keep competing. Uh, you know, I look back to Memphis game. We competed the whole game. Uh, last week we didn't, and, and uh, that's very disappointing. Well, we talked again. We, I brought it up at halftime. You know, I, you know everybody was, uh, I guess, cautiously optimistic at halftime. Obviously, we were excited about being up 20 to three, but knowing we had to go play 30 more minutes, and you know, first thing I said to him, I was still, I was mad because we left 14 points on the board that we didn't get, and I felt like at some point in time we were going to need it. And I didn't tell him that, but, but uh, I did tell him we were disappointed. And, and you know, we, we got to make every play that we can make uh, on both sides of the ball. You know, we don't need to take anything for granted. Uh, you know, this day and time, anybody can score. You, you watch all the pro games yesterday and all the close games. So, uh, you know, we gotta we gotta score when we have opportunities to score, and we gotta make interceptions when we have opportunities to make interceptions, and, and you know, just make the plays that are there. I don't think anybody in college football is that much better than anybody else this day and time.
basically the same personnel and we are too. Um, I think they're better and I think our defense is better. So I think it'll be a good matchup. Uh, we certainly, um, I think he's one of the better running backs, like I said, in this league. Um, he does, he runs hard, runs physical. Um, they're, they're not as good a throwing team as some of the other teams as we face, but I mean, they certainly can throw the football, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, I think it is a good matchup for him.